you think that all the times I've been to New York as a techie and as someone that loves sports, I would have been to two iconic places. One being Madison Square Garden. But of course, the day that I'm here, they're doing a lot of construction and can't get inside of there. The other place, BNH. BNH Photo has like all the equipment when it comes to content creation, video, audio. They have everything. But there's a huge line outside that is continuing to grow, so I'm not able to get into BNH. But I am able to get into the BNH 50th Anniversary Expo 2023. And I'm going to take you guys with me to show you some of the things that are here and some of the speakers. It's a pretty awesome event. Today is actually day two of the event. So if it doesn't look as packed as it did yesterday, then that's why. But it's been a pretty good event so far, day one, and I'm excited for the start of day two. When I saw this in the mail, this brochure for B&H, it said celebrating 50 years. And when I saw this, I wanted to learn more about what they were going to do for their 50th anniversary and come to find out they were hosting an event called Build 2023 in New York City. Now, I've been to New York a fair number of times. And as a techie and as a sports enthusiast, there are two iconic places that you would assume that I would have visited, neither of which I had visited for the sports enthusiast side of me, Madison Square Garden, the Mecca, the most well-known venue in sports. Never been there. And I wanted to go during this trip to the Build Conference, but there was so much construction going on that I couldn't quite get in there. Plus, there was no scheduled events for being at Madison Square Garden, so that was another fail this time around. Now, the other most iconic place as a techie is obviously B&H. It's over a block long, a block wide. It's a huge store, and I've never actually gone inside of B&H. But I wanted to go this time. Unfortunately, the line goes kind of starting to grow and I didn't really want to wait. But thankfully, the BNH conference was a full two day event and I maximized all the time at this conference. Now, when I got there, I just knew that I would probably run into someone and shout out to Dr. Elo because I ran into him or I should say he ran into me and saw me first. So it was pretty cool to see other content creators at this conference. The number of cameras that was roaming around was amazing to see so many people that were invested in this particular expo. Not only were there vendors there, but there were speakers there as well. And one of those people in particular was Jean Firth. Now, if you're not familiar with her work, she is a sports photographer and you've probably seen her work because she photographs Major League Baseball. As someone that is learning, learning and learning how to do photography and especially sports photography, I've been using my Sony gear and I definitely wanted to listen to her perspective. Not only does she do photography on a professional level, but she also does it at the grassroots level as well. And one of the things that she even mentioned in her presentation was the introduction of more more women into the sport of baseball. Not just women photographers in the sport of baseball, but women actually playing the game of baseball. Now, another speaker that I definitely wanted to listen to that day was Jared Poland. Fronos Photo. Jared Poland Fronos Photo. Jared Poland Fronos Photo. Jared Poland Fronos Photo. I apologize, Jared, but that catchphrase is so catchy. And every time you go and watch a Jared Poland video, you know what you're getting. And so it was really cool to see him in person and his presentation. I was not expecting that type of presentation, but it really gave us some perspective of not only who he is, but how how he looks at his profession of photography and how serious he takes it, telling the story. Now, both Gene and Jared were on the main stage. And if you want to watch their presentations, B&H actually live streamed everything from the main stage on their YouTube channel. So I'll link to that in the description of this video. Now, one of the things that I took with me that I thought I was going to use a little bit more was my GoPro. And I am not a vlogger. It just feels so uncomfortable to record yourself while walking in public, even though this was B&H and everybody was doing it, it just seems so uncomfortable. But one guy that has mastered it is Casey Neistat, and he was there as well. So you definitely want to go and check that link out in the description to watch his keynote. There were some great speakers all around on the main stages, but they also had breakout rooms as well. In a couple of those breakout rooms, I got a chance to meet some other people that do this thing called YouTube, one of which was Jenna. Now, I'm 
I'm not going to butcher Jenna's last name, but she's an amazing YouTuber as well. And Jenna focuses on tech. So it was really good to talk to someone that does the same thing, getting a chance to understand how she goes about YouTube and specifically creating content around tech on YouTube. And another YouTube guy that I got a chance to really meet was Brandon Washington. Brandon Washington is a cinematographer, videographer. He is great with the camera. I'll put it that way. And I've watched some of Brandon's videos for years and years and years. I love his style. And so I want to make sure to link to everybody in this video. Now, if you were at BNH, make sure you let me know that you were there and maybe let's connect. Maybe it's not on YouTube. Maybe it's on LinkedIn because I'm over there as well. Or maybe it's on Amazon because I'm over there on Amazon as well. And so I want to connect with everyone that was at BNH because it just seemed like a really good family atmosphere of a whole bunch of professionals that do very similar types of work. Now, along with some great speakers, there were some great vendors there. And I got a chance to hang out with some of the people that have sent products to me for review on this channel. So I definitely want to give a shout out to Sure Microphones for being there. Mario, sorry, didn't get a chance to meet you in person, but it was great connecting with the entire team that was able to show up for the conference. I was also able to connect with BZB Gear, so it was really cool to see them and see some of the new things that are going to come out at the end of the year. So you guys stay tuned. And I also got a chance to catch up with PTZ Optics and the legendary Paul Richards. Now, when I bought my very first PTZ camera, it was a PTZ Optics camera, and I learned a lot from Paul Richards. So you definitely got to check out their channels as well because I'm using a PTZ camera to record this video right now. When I got back from New York City, I actually set up this brand new space in the basement to create another video about what it would look like to create a budget podcast studio. So that's going to be the very next video after you get finished watching this one. Now, there were so many different vendors there and I got a chance to learn a lot about some of the things that are upcoming and some of the different use cases of of how people use equipment, different workflows, different strategies. And it was a really great experience. After the conference is wrapped up each day, I did get a chance to get out and do a little sightseeing. Now, I did stop by Yankee Stadium, which was pretty cool as a baseball fan. Again, definitely a place that I wanted to go and visit. And on the second day, I finally brought out the cameras. Now, I took my Sony A1 and the brand new 24 to 70 G Master Mark II, but I didn't even take them out of of my back until day two. And so while walking through New York, I was able to get some pretty cool shots, just random shots as I was walking through. And then when I got to Times Square, I was able to stumble upon this. I got there at the perfect time for those street dancers. So I had the camera out. It was ready to go. Now I didn't get a chance to like lock down my settings because I didn't know that was going to happen in real time. But I was able to get some really good footage on the Sony camera and on the lens combo, which the Sony combination is just magnificent for photography and video. And I was able to grab some really cool shots for the entire stay when I was walking around New York City. But now that we're back home, it's time to get back to building out this studio. So check out this next video where I talk about this brand new 4K PTZ camera and how you can use it for your setup.